Indonesia's Ministry of Finance has approved $2.16 billion in foreign loans, which will be utilized to acquire two Scorpion submarines for the Indonesian Navy, that will be equipped with advanced air-independent propulsion technology. Naval Group has already signed a cooperation agreement with Mazagin Dock Ship Builders, under which it will provide training to engineers and workers of PT PAL Indonesian Naval Engineering Company for submarine construction, and extend its support to assist in the maintenance of the Scorpion submarines. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders will also be deployed to oversee and optimize the construction activities, to ensure the successful and efficient completion of the submarine program. The WAP variant developed by Mohindra Defence in collaboration with the RDO is heading towards user trials by the Indian Army. It shares the basic design of the Tata the RDO WAP variant, but it incorporates several distinctive features, while Larson and Tubro will also roll out its WAP variant by end of 2023. The Indian Army will place a major order for WAP after it evaluates the variants of Mohindra Tata and Larsen and Tubro, as well as the Turex infantry carrier vehicle offered by Bharat Forge and ST Engineering of Singapore. The Indian Army is set to acquire at least 1,200 towed gun systems, and the initial order will be for 400 systems. Officials have said that the 18 ton ATAGs might not be the optimal solution for all types of terrain, and in order to address this concern, the Indian Army is exploring the acquisition of 155mm 52 caliber guns that fall below 15 tons. The 14 ton Danush Howitzer could face competition from the 8 ton mountain artillery gun extended range of Kalyani Strategic Systems, that boasts an impressive firing range of 41 km. New Space Research has unveiled its innovative combat UAV at the Bharat Drone Shakti Exhibition 2023, that can seamlessly integrate with a man mothership. It will have four specialized configurations adaptable to a wide range of combat scenarios, including an EW variant to jam enemy fighters, a kamikaze variant capable of precision strikes against hostile military aircraft, a decoy variant that can divert the attention of enemy air defenses by mimicking a fighter jet, and an ISR variant that will provide invaluable intelligence and surveillance data. Lucknow-based Tech Eagle has showcased its Vertiplane X3 at the Bharat Drone Shakti Exhibition 2023, that has a maximum speed of 120 km per hour, a range of 100 km across different trains, and a payload capacity of 3 kg, and it will be used for delivery of cargo for defense and maritime. CD Space Robotics has showcased its Spot V3 vertical takeoff and landing UAV at the Bharat Drone Shakti Exhibition 2023, that has an endurance of 6 hours, and a payload capacity of 50 kg. The upper structure of the fuselage features bays, that will accommodate avionics and sensors, and will be used primarily for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance roles. Bharat Electronics Limited has showcased its 2 kW laser-based directed energy weapon at the Bharat Drone Shakti Exhibition 2023, that has the capability to counter new asymmetric and disruptive threats like drones and unmanned aerial vehicles from a range of over 1 km, which was also deployed in New Delhi during the G20 summit. The Indian Air Force has inducted the first C-295 aircraft into Squadron No. 11 at the Hindon Air Force Station. Airbus will deliver the first 16 aircraft in flyaway condition from its final assembly line in Spain by 2025, and the subsequent 40 aircraft will be manufactured and assembled in India by the Tato Advanced Systems. <laughs> Oh, my God.